have you noticed the uh, small, subtle things that are happening, like with our freedom of, of expression, freedom of speech, and all that stuff? Uh, Mar oh, okay, Mark Zuckerberg was uh, guilty of that, and he says it's because you know, and he seems like a stand-up guy, and he's 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 a rough dude and stuff like like me and like Trump and you know Dana, uh, you know of the, the UCF and or UFC. I'm sorry, UCF. Yeah, that's uh, University of Central Florida. Hell oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I used to live right down the road from that. But anyway, it, it's like... He says he was basically forced. Like, censorship. And, and all his money was going to go for that different things or whatever. And it turned out that it went for to get Joe Biden's ass elected. You know, but he swears he didn't know that. And I don't, I don't know to believe him or not. I, I just, I don't know. But I can see it. I mean, you know... If I owned a multi-billion dollar, you know, uh, company like his, and I was threatened with it, I, I probably wouldn't do that. It's like, you know, okay, well, take me off the air. Kill me. I got, I got plenty enough of my fucking money. I don't give a shit. You know, I can always pack my shit and disappear and go to another fucking country, you know. And fuck you assholes, you know. But I can understand, you know, he owns a company and, and he's married and everything. He doesn't want to go anywhere and, you know, I, I can't blame that part. And, you know, I, I could understand. But it's like anything to do with the Democrats and the Joe Biden administration and Camilla Harris, you just can't trust them. Because, like, Camilla Harris is doing it now. She's like, you know coming out with all this bullshit and, and flip-flopping back, you know, to, to good. I, actually, I think she's lying just like Joe Biden did with Joe Biden's promise of unity and all this bullshit. And then as soon as he got in, he started tearing America apart and fucking everything up. You know, so he lied just to get in and then did a, his damage and shit. And that's what Camilla Harris seems to be doing now. All of a sudden she's going to do this and you know, blaming this, that bill that she she claims, oh, well, it's Donald Trump's fault. No, it was him and the Republicans decided not to because it had too much shit in it to where you know, only let in 5,000 or 10,000 a fucking day. You know, it's like, of course they turned the bill down. I mean, what the fuck would you do? Well, I ain't asking what you'd do. I know what you cocksuckers would do, but... No, the Republicans, no, they just shot it down, and I don't fucking blame them, because there's too much shit in it. You know, a bill should be just a bill, not this crammed with this other fucking crap. It's like, isn't that the same thing as bait and switch, which is illegal? You know, so what the fuck is that? You know, I ain't no fucking dumbass. I do know the law and shit. You know, I, I kind of had to, you know, to be, be in my position in the military to kill people and stuff yeah well you had to know what the fuck you're doing and, and lawful and this and that and take your orders and do what you gotta do for the safety of your men and your country and yeah I understand all that shit and I understand that the military has a totally different law than America but and there's no double jeopardy you can't be tried in one and then fucked over in the other two and don't work that way so uh but the subtle things that are going on. First of all, it started with uh, Mark Zuckerberg and, and being silent over the, the, the Biden laptop and all this bullshit. And he was basically being coerced and threatened into that shit. And, you know, I, we, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't, I don't have any idea. But I do think he's a pretty cool guy and everything. And I don't know. I, you know, like I said, you know, if it were me and I had this multi, multi, multi-million dollar corporation and stuff right here, you know, I wouldn't want to run it from another country or, or have it fold down and, and, you know, go out of business and, and it, it's just a lot, but I don't know. Like I said, I, I still wouldn't give in to the Democrat bullshit and it would do this for us. No, fuck that, man. I'll just like take my money and move to another country and fuck y'all, y'all can suck my dick.
you know, it was like, but he didn't say that. He has his reasons and shit. But, you know, it's like Camilla Harris and all her lies and shit. I just don't trust her, just like I don't trust all Democrats. I mean, you know, I know there are some that are good, but it's too much to trust a Democrat these days because they, they want to take over America and make America shit, you know, like, like they're already doing. I mean, most of our freedoms and all that shit, they're just, like, gone by the wayside, ignored, and, you know, and lawfare and all this motherfucking bullshit against people who really didn't do anything. And, you know, I think it's stupid. They, 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 they put all these charges on Donald Trump for doing the same exact thing that that, that asshole from that show did. You know, it's like, but they didn't arrest him. You know, he still has his show and his podcasts and shit. You know, it's like, and he did the same exact thing Donald Trump did. Except Donald Trump got a felony over it. It's like, what the fuck is that? And Jon Stewart got away with it. Doing the same shit. How, how does that fucking work? How, how can you arrest a man and charge him with a felony and let this guy go for doing the same exact thing? Hmm. Sounds like bullshit to me. You know? And then there's other little southern, subtle things that, like... Have you noticed? They used to have YouTube downloaders. You could go anywhere and you could download... Videos of people saying shit and doing shit. And, which I used to do. And, and I, you know, uh, historic things like when... Uh, uh, um, Elon Musk took over uh, Twitter and turned it into X and all. I, I recorded that and all. You know, just for posterity and, and hey, you know, well, someday, you know, we used to have Twitter and then it was taken over because of the freedom of speech and shit was being violated. So, and, you know, Elon Musk took it over and, you know, that's all, you know. But now, every single YouTube downloader and other downloaders will not download clips or YouTube videos. Not at all. It's like... It's like like, like the, the breach in Social Security. And all the illegal fuckers and shit. Hmm. Social Security numbers for them cocksuckers so that they can fucking vote. Hmm. This all has happened at the same fucking time. Could it... Could it be a coincidence? No, I seriously fucking doubt it. <laughs> My mama didn't raise no motherfucking asshole. <laughs> Shit. But it's so funny because I had all that stuff and I got rid of anything to do with all that shit. Now you, I can't download or do anything. And don't have a... a uh, I my Facebook account is is open but not used because I don't have uh, Microsoft anymore. I don't have any of that shit. I don't have it. Uh, I, the Explorer and all you know Microsoft Explorer. None of that shit. My operating system is totally different, and I have three different browsers that are all privacy browsers with their own VPN. You know because. The other VPN, while well, they actually they sell your fucking information, I wouldn't trust them and shit. And these, well, no, I mean, they're they're a VPN and they're so they're totally private. They would tell you who who tracks you and who who's been blocked. And they also, they have a thing that you can have all your stuff encrypted anyway, which I have, and. and also, I can, like, log in from a totally different country. You know, I've got a choice for the USA and all these others and shit, but I can log in from anywhere. It's like, you know, fuck. And, and they don't sell your information like the other NordVPN or any of these other fuckers. And, you know, violate your rights and violate who you are and shit like that. And it's like, you know. To me, that's the same thing as tying somebody down and fucking them in the ass, you know? <laughs> same goddamn thing. Same goddamn principle. 
And if you do it to me, guess what? You'll pay goddamn hell. It's like I don't play. I don't play with that shit. It's like I, I value my privacy. You know, um, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna fold if you tell me. Oh, I'll give you twenty thousand. Let's see, I can make twenty thousand dollars in a fucking month or two. Fucking shit. So I don't need your fucking money to, to fucking lie and vote for your dumb asses that don't mean shit that fuck up the United States and call into question like 95% of what I fucking did for my whole life. Wonderful. You wonderful, you cocksuckers. It's like, I will see you arrested for treason to America, you little pieces of shit. And you've got a choice. You've got three options. Firing squad, being hung, or we can deport your fucking ass with the other illegal fuckers. Which one would you like? Well, you're a rich bastard. You can, you can afford to go live somewhere else in another country. We don't want your motherfucking ass in America. Not after this shit. But it's like everywhere you go, they're either suppressing what you say or they're not reporting something. They're reporting only bad stuff about Donald Trump and good stuff about Camilla Harris. Instead of, you know, the news saying the truth, okay, Donald Trump's wiping her a fucking ass, you know, and most of her things and her, her benefits and all this shit, they're, they're fake. They're, they're AI generated or they have like you know all these reporters and all this shit there instead of people because you know only only the dumb motherfuckers vote for her I mean come on look, look, look. She, she's paired up with Tampon Tim I mean talk about a disrespectful American he doesn't even deserve to be living in this fucking country He's, he's full of stolen valor, full of lies, and then he makes excuses. Oh, it's because of my poor language skills and this and that. Bullshit. You're just a goddamn coward. You're just a goddamn coward and you stole the valor, you little cheap pussy. You know, it's like... So no wonder why Camillus won't win. Because look, she's, an, she's a dumbass cunt. And then she's paired up with that fucking asshole. Who better to run the country than Donald Trump, man? Not, not, not them two fucking idiots. No, nothing to do with Biden. Oh, and she wasn't even elected. I, I, that still gets to me. We're, you know, everybody to do with Trump is, is against democracy. Democracy is the freedom to vote who you want. Camilla wasn't voted for. She was installed. You know, like a fucking toilet. You know? Nobody voted for her. There were no primaries. No, no nothing. She, she didn't run and campaign for president. Or vice president. You know? It's like... She was just installed. Like I said, like a fucking toilet. You know? Nobody voted for the bitch. Nobody wants the bitch. The only ones who do is the stupid rich motherfuckers. They, you know, they got no brains, man. They got lots of money, but they ain't got no goddamn brains. Uh, it, it figures if you had money and you wanted more, wouldn't you want Donald Trump because to make the economy better? What do you guys get rid? No, I know what it is. For the same thing that the uh, uh, somebody went to jail for speaking that America is addicted to war. They are. They want to make money for the military complex. And they'll get a cut and, and shit. And just like, you know, contributing to uh, um, Ukraine, they get a kickback from that. It goes in their fucking pocket. What a big, huge money laundering dis you know thing. No way. You, you cocksuckers don't have enough money. You don't want to make it the right way. Let's see, Donald Trump, man, he busted his ass and came up with inventions and things paid off and he became rich. 
I did the same thing. I worked my ass off. I was totally honest and did what I did, and I did a damn good job, and I worked my butt. And guess what? Now I'm not rich, but very comfortable. You know? It's like fucking A. I was half owner of a hotel. We got a shitload of money for selling that place, still. We had it for five years. And then turned around and we did some renovations and shit and turned around and sold it for almost double what we paid for it. And we paid $1.6 million for the thing. So that'll tell you how much fucking money. Double that and that's what we got. You know, after five years. It's like, god damn. So the other owner and myself got a huge fucking bank account. So, you know... If all goes south in this country and it gets money if any fucked up more than it already is, I'm out of here. I got like three different countries to, to fucking go to. And I've got houses and properties and shit in those countries so like I can live and survive and fuck this place and all this motherfucking banana republic communist pussy shit, you know? I don't need that fucking crap. I I don't have to put the only thing that, that, that shames me and, and is terrible is I got friends that make less and they're like, you know, middle to lower income and, and they can't afford to go overseas and shit and, you know, I'm not going to be able to pay for them to come, I, you know, I want to keep my money and I earned it the hard way and shit like that. And it's a shame that they have to stay here and put up with the communism shit, you know? Or or the socialist shit, and then the communist, eventually the communist shit. And live in the, Repub the Banana Republic of America. You know, that's what it's gonna fucking be. USA ROC, United States of America, Republic of China. That's what it'll be. So, you know, all those people that I know, well, you better learn to speak Chinese. <laughs> it's coming. You ain't got to worry about North Korea and, and, and Russia and shit like that. Yeah, they're a threat and stuff, but, and so is Iran, but the biggest threat that we really have to worry about is China. It's like, damn. That's another reason not to vote for Camilla Harris. She's a diplomat. She's a dumbass. She has no diplomatic skills at all. Donald Trump gets along with Xi Jinping. You know, it's like, and he's gotten money from them, and he's done all kinds of stuff, and we help them, and they help us, and, and you know, he he's he just fits right in. He, he's fine. But Camille Harris, well, she's a like a fucking disaster. That woman can't debate anything. She can't, her foreign policy doesn't even exist. I mean, the woman is a total fucking dumbass. I mean, the only thing she's got is money. And I'm sick and tired of living in a country where you got things that identify as a female, but it's a guy, and he's in women's sports. He can't beat men, so he's now beating women. To me, that sounds like unfair, pussy-ass bullshit, if you ask me. Tell them, them freaks to get the fuck out of America. Cut your goddamn dick off, but get the fuck out of here and stop shoving the fucking shit up our fucking asses. You know, because we're sick of it, you know? Everybody's sick of it. I'm sick of hearing about transgenders, this and that. And the, these cross-dressing fuckers, they, they, they did a re their rendition of The Last Supper... What? Uh, uh, talk about blasphemy to God. Holy shit. I mean, I got dirty language and shit like that, but still, I'm a religious man and stuff. You can't go and do shit like that. That's blasphemy to God. He's going to strike you queers down. Let me tell you, I guarantee you. It's like, you know, people are people, and they got a chance for an opportunity themselves, but don't. Put your shit on the others who aren't. I don't know how many gay people I worked with. Okay, they're fine. You never knew it. You know, they they didn't shove it up your ass. 
There was no gay pride and all this crap and cross-dressers and all these queers and shit. They, 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 they knew their place and they just kept to themselves and hey, they they were fine. They were cool people. It's like, you know, I worked with a bunch of them and shit like that. And you never really knew, you know, until they told you. It's like, son of a bitch, you're, no, really? I would have never thought. <laughs> It's like, damn. I even told one of them, I says, I hope I never said anything derogatory, you know. He, and you know what his his saying to me was? Well, I am. I'm not going to hide who I am. If you think I'm that, well, hey, what the fuck? I am. Yeah, that's all. That, And I was like, this guy's cool, man. <laughs> Whether he's different or not, he's cool. Like, you know, but nowadays, oh, my God. They shove it up your ass at every turn. I know, I, I'm sick of turning on the TV and see two two guys kissing and shit for one of their their queer ass commercials. Or it, it's like, no, I don't want to see that fucking crap. Or, or you know, uh, a classic Buttigieg. Was he elected because he knew transportation? Hell no, and infrastructure. Shit no, he didn't know a damn thing. He was only hired because he was a, a gay guy. That, that's his job. And what does he do? Is He gets hired his first eight weeks. He takes maternity leave. I still haven't figured out that one. How does a man who can't have a baby get maternity leave? Holy fuck. Has our country gone to nothing but the queers? I think so. I think Biden wants to surround himself with all these weird people. Because he and Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are fucking weird. You know, and they say, oh, J.D. Vance is weird. No, he's not. He's normal. You fuckers are weird as shit. God damn, and you want everybody else to be fucking weird so that you blend in. So that you don't look so fucking bad or so fucking weird. You know, it's like, god damn. It's, un <laughs> it's totally unfucking real man. I can't believe America has gone to that, that shit. It's like... First of all, think about it logically. If you were my age and you had a daughter, and your daughter was in the locker room, locker room changing, and she's naked and she's showering, and there's a guy in there, and he, he identifies as a female, but he still has a dick. Even if he doesn't have a dick, he still has an Adam's apple. He used to be a goddamn guy. I don't want him near my daughter in her fucking own bathroom and shit. He can go piss in the other goddamn room with the guys, you know? I used to do security at a hotel, and one time I walked in, and there was a guy in a dress in the women's bathroom, and all the girls came out, and they complained. And I was an armed security guard at a hotel this time. So I went in there, and I told him, I says, you know, get the fuck out. You know, if you've got a piss and you've got a dick, the, bath, you know, the men's room is over there. You don't belong in the ladies' room. And if you don't like that policy, then you can get the fuck off the goddamn property. Because I own the fucking place. You can ask the owner. From 6 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning, I fucking own the place. I make the goddamn rules. And if I say you're banned and get the fuck out and you're queer, tough shit. So that's how I handle it. It's like... No way. There's no way you... If, it, if at the very least, have a men's room, a ladies' room, and a transgender's room. Then whoever has a... And they, you know, whatever, they they can go in that bathroom. But not... Or the men's room, if they're, you know, still a guy. You know, you know what I mean. But not in the girls' room. Not, not, not even if they get the operation, they're still a guy. It's like... It, it still gets horny over a naked woman. It, it still, it's still not right to have a guy, even if he doesn't have a dick anymore, he still doesn't belong in the women's bathroom. I'm sorry. That's just the way it should be, and that's the way I feel. I consider myself fucking normal, and lots of other people fucking normal. Not weird. Like the Democrats. So, you know, we're getting all this stuff 
shoved up our ass. It's on our TV. It's on. It's everywhere. It's in the women's sports. It, it's like no. It, it's like cockroaches stay in the dark under the woodwork. Don't come out because we don't want to fucking hear it, and we damn sure don't want to fucking see it. And if you identify as a woman, we don't fucking care. Go identify as a woman somewhere else. But don't get caught in the fucking the, the women's bathroom because guess what? If you happen to be at a place I am, I'll throw your fucking ass out. I don't give a shit about the law. I got my own goddamn law and my own goddamn rights. You know, that's bullshit. But it, it's like, it's just... And then you see all these little hints. It's like, you know, they're, they're slowly fucking with our rights. They're slowly censoring us and shit with this fucking crap. Now there's no downloaders that, that you can copy and record videos and save them for later. Because they don't want you to show the real truth, the proof. You know, it's like... And if you notice, those are the people that usually stay on YouTube and don't have any strikes and all this bullshit. Like that girl with uh, Michelle in Florida with uh, Squirrel Team. She shows her, the proof on her tablet. You know, Camilla just said this last week, but now she's denying this shit this week. But she shows the proof. 100% video proof. This is an AI. This is her and her on video. Well, the rest of it, you can't do that. You know, I used to tape shit for posterity. Old tunes and old stuff and, and historic things and shit like that. But you can't record anything anymore. You can't even take a picture or a screenshot or something of it. You know, it's like to get a picture of something on YouTube, all I can do is like, you know, get my phone out and get a little video or, you know, and then copy that out. And then they'll strike that down. You can't put that on, on Facebook and shit. It's like, they're all against us. They're all censoring us for the, you know, for, for speaking the truth. And they don't want you to speak the truth. And they don't want you to have the video proof because that's the truth. They, they, they got their whole thing by lies. And they're still doing it. And it's like... A lot of people are waking up to this bullshit. But then again, there are some really stupid motherfuckers. It's like, you know, have you seen... You know, they have this one video out. I, it, they... People vote, who are you voting for? Donald Trump. Why? And then they'll give a whole speech of why. And he's for America and he did this. And under him we had a, the, a much better economy and energy independence and a stronger military and you know, a, a more secure border and none of these illegal fuckers all over the place. And cops were cops and, you know, shit like that. And, you know, the law was law instead of lawfare. And, all that bullshit, censorship, and all that. And then the ones that said, why are you voting Camilla Harris? Who are you voting for, Camilla? Why? And they had no, no fucking clue. Total dumbasses. Let me see. Let me guess. You only get the biased bullshit from CNN or MSNBC or one of these other fucking lying rags. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't know why you're gonna vote for somebody, first of all, you're you're an asshole. You know you should always know who you're voting for and why. It's like like sheep. You know, let, let's follow the lead sheep. Let's be dumb fuckers, even if that loose the lead sheep is going to the fucking uh, uh, slaughterhouse. Let's go with him. <laughs> What, what, what sheep are in the back of the line looking at? Uh, where are we going? We're going up there to get slaughtered and shit because we follow the mother dumbasses. Yep. So let's go. Let's go the other way. Let's get the fuck out of here. 
Let them kill them assholes. Let's let's. <laughs> That's what they should be saying. But no, we vote for Camilla. Why? I don't know. Because CNN says so? I guess. That's my only dumb fucking reason. Because I watch CNN and MSNBC and shit like that. That's why I'm voting for Camilla. I think. Maybe. Yeah? Okay. Total dumbasses. I'm voting for Donald Trump because he's going to clean up the, the Democrat shit. Get rid of the fucking weirdos. Uh, make the economy better since they fucked it up. Uh, make the, the military stronger so that we live in a safer country. Close the border so we don't have all these illegal fuckers up our ass with all their goddamn crime and shit. The, the, the largest mass deportation in history. Oh yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna have a fucking boner over that one. I wanna be watching that shit on TV. What are you doing, honey? You're watching the fucking raids of the deportation shit. <laughs> this is better than cops. Fuck. <laughs> this stuff is true. This is better than any fucking reality show. This is for real. This is fucking reality. God damn. I'm going to be glued to the TV until the last fucker gets out of this country. And we, Donald Trump and ICE, will find you. And throw your ass back. And you can go back to Venezuela and back to the asylums and shit like that and the prisons. If they'll take you, they'll probably ship you off to some other country. Because they don't want your fucking asses either. That's why they sent them to us. You can have them. We don't want them. Well, guess what? We don't want them, and we don't need them either. And when Donald Trump's elected, which he will be, those fuckers, you can just wave bye-bye to them cock-sucking pieces of shit. The weirdos. The criminal weirdos. Fucking A, man. I'll just... I'll totally rejoice in that day. It's like, uh, I can go to the other countries for a vacation and still come back home to America instead of living in another country. I can't help it. I was born in New York and raised in Florida. I'm an American through and through. I fought for the country. I love this place. Not what they're doing to it now, but... Trump gets in office and straightens it out and nice deports all these fuckers it'll be America again and like I said I can go to those countries for a vacation but I can come back home here ah. Cause even though these other countries are nice to live in and shit like that they're still not America they're 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 away from the shit in case it gets nuclear and all that crap. And they're places that are safe and secure because of their people are just basically ruthless. They love their country and their, th their way of life too. And I'd have to get like used to a different life because like one of the places that I, I've been to recently was Scotland and it's very different over there. It's, it's very nice. But you've, you've got to remember the rules. I mean, you know... That's part of, of England, the same continent and shit. And so, and the rules are different in Scotland. You go to England and you do one of the rules that you can do in Scotland, but you can't do it in it, you're going to get yourself in trouble. So you best know what to do and what not to do. And then you got another one across the pond, which is Ireland. You fuck up over there, and I'm pretty sure you're going to spend the rest of your fucking life breaking li big rocks into little rocks in one of the prisons. You know, so, but other than that, you know, they, those are beautiful, wonderful places, and they're run great, and they're safe, and it's a totally different way of life. They drive on the different side of the road, and you don't, like, it's an island, one of the Scottish Isles, and you don't go to uh, uh, the stores and shit like that are on the mainland. Here, there, uh, there, there are 
like if you want groceries you go to a house where they hunt and they fish and they grow vegetables and fruits and you buy all their shit you know from there and that and you take it home and because it has no preservatives and chemicals and shit like America you buy two or three days worth at a time because the shit's gonna spoil on you real quick because it ain't got no shit and no chemicals and all that fuck it's natural stuff but it's just a totally different thing I mean you know here in America you get used to go going to, to Target or Walmart or some shit it's not like that there it's like that sort of on the mainland but there on the island no not, it's not like that at all you buy your stuff from mom and pop and they just happen to grow stuff and fish and hunt and you know so you get like you know seafood and you know deer meat and you know all the shit and it's, you know and there's like I said it it doesn't maintain its freshness very long because there ain't no crap in it the only chemicals they use is like you know um, sunshine and water that's it you know <laughs> so but it doesn't last long I mean you know you buy stuff from them you buy it for two or three days and then you come back and that's how you do it and dry on the island it's not it's not as bad as the mainland because you don't drive on either side it's like a wider bike path and one car goes down and if you encounter another car they have little pull-offs everywhere you just pull off and let him go and then you continue your journey so you don't have to worry which side of the road do I fucking drive on you know so it's like you know that's that's the only thing that you have to that's different about it and like I said there are rules in one place and you go to another place the rules are different and then you go across the pond while well, they're even different there so you got to know what the, I mean, the rules are where you are or just don't go anywhere else stay in Scotland which is a beautiful country and the weather's nice and even and it, it does it's a little bit more rainy and misty than it is in America but other than that you know it's fine it, it's not the temperature isn't too hot it isn't too cold I mean it's like you know if you want to live in the highlands you'll get the cold and the snow you know but not as bad but still you know if you want to live regular Scotland you know down off highlands and shit well then it's fine I mean you know it's just a little bit misty and rainy now and then and, but the temperatures are even there is no like you know a summer where it's too hot or a winter where it's too cold their summer is like you know 60 70 and their winter is like 40 or 50 that's it you know and that's really not that bad and for, for wonderful people and beautiful scenery and natural foods and shit like that it's you know and it's and the law presence there is much less because when something serious happens they have to get police officers or bobbies as they call them over from from the mainland or England or, or you know somewhere and shit like that and they'll take care of the situation and there's in Kirkwall there's a small hospital and for anything that's a serious emergency that you have to life flight you to the mainland you know you'll take a helicopter trip and that's shit I think the helicopter trip is like 1800 bucks one way you know <laughs> so then when you go you then you're gonna have to get a cab and to and take a ferry back to the it's it's gonna cost you quite a bit I mean you better make sure it's a really serious ailment <laughs> But other than that, they do have, you know, a bit medical and shit. And, but it's it's basic and stuff like that. But I would love to see America get straightened out and be able to stay here and shit. And like I said, go to these places for a vacation and stuff. And, and you know, live the bougie life and like Michelle does. <laughs> and... and have my America back, you know, the, 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 the country I fought for, and, you know, many other people fought and died and, and gave up lots of things and limbs and all this shit 
for this country and and I don't want to see that in vain you know it's all that is just a waste or you know what a shame I mean you got homeless veteran veterans or veterans that have mental problems PTSD and shit it it's such a shame and then if there's no democratic or you know republic society and shit like that and the democrats keep fucking it up we're not going to have any help for them just the illegal fuckers and that's going to be a damn shame you know they, they they gave their ass they gave their heart they gave their blood they gave their limbs they gave their lives for this goddamn country and they're not going to get taken care of the illegal fuckers are but they're not and it's like that's going to be a goddamn shame. You know, we fought for America. Let's, you know, leave it America. Stop fucking with it. You want to, you, you, uh, you want communism? You, dude, you've got many places to choose from. You want your own place? Go take over some other fucking country and shit. Start your, do, do your shit there, you know? Just leave America alone. But, but, but that's all I wanted to say. And, always pay attention to these little subtle things and it's like and you can see it there fucking with our democracy and our freedoms and shit little by little and eventually if dipshit Camilla gets voted in which I know she won't because she's a fucking idiot more a mental moron then you'll see them do all this shit then all this crap will come to light but when Donald Trump gets in it's all gonna come to light and come to head be fucked and <laughs> like I said I'm gonna have the biggest fucking boner you ever saw I'm gonna be watching that shit on TV it's gonna be better and more fun than the Nuremberg Trials you know it's gonna be like wow like I said this is a fucking reality show so get ready for that hopefully and yes definitely we'll see yeah we, we don't know what's what the administration, the Biden fuckers are gonna, and Kamala Harris and Tim Walls and all this bullshit are gonna pull just before the election. They might try to steal it again. They might take all these illegal fuckers and make them stay with their stolen security, social security numbers and vote and shit like that. And sway the election. Talk about undemocratic. But Donald Trump is uh, 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 a threat to democracy. Uh, no, a threat to democracy is the Democrats and their bullshit and their communist shit. 